the word of God gives hope to the hopeless. Dear brothers and sisters, today we read about the encounter, the healing encounter between Jesus and the blind man. In the gospel according to St. Matthew, there were two blind men. In the gospel according to St. Mark, his name was Bartimaeus. But in the gospel according to St. Luke, Luke did not mention his name. Now, Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem and uh, he is passing through Jericho because Jericho is a major town, a major city before Jerusalem. As Jesus was approaching Jericho, there was a man, a blind man, a blind man who was, yeah, blind, he was poor, he was a beggar, he was abandoned, and he was by the roadside. A life lived in the periphery, a life lived in the margins of the society. There are five things I would like us to emulate from this man. And the first one is the confidence of this man. This man had this confidence that he did not allow his problem, he did not allow his blindness, he did not allow his poverty to control him. He did not allow his sickness to overwhelm him because he had a positive outlook about life. The second thing that I would like us to think about here is the sensitivity of this man. The crowd were moving by. There were so many people following Jesus. And he was the person who inquired, who is this person passing by that so many people are following? And they told him, it's Jesus of Nazareth. You see, when you have a problem, do not allow your problem to control you. Rather, be in total control of the problem. And that's why I usually say, I do not tell God I have big problem. Rather, I tell my problems that I have a big God. So Bartimaeus had this sensitivity that he was able to inquire about what was going on in his society. Do not allow your problems to make you to become closed up. Do not allow the crisis going on in your life to make you to become another kind of person. But Always make sure that you overcome whatever that is going on in your life. The third thing I like us to think about Bartimaeus is the smartness of Bartimaeus. When they told him that it was Jesus of Nazareth who was passing by, he started saying and shouting, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me, have mercy on me. How did Bartimaeus know that Jesus of Nazareth is the Jesus, the son of David? He was very theological. One of the titles, the Messianic titles that Jesus loved so much is the son of David. Why? Because the son of David is the summary of the identity and the mission of Christ as the anointed one. Remember, in the Old Testament, God made a promise to David that his dynasty will be forever. So Jesus, as the Messiah, is the fulfillment of that promise that God made to David. The fourth thing we learn from this blind man is his persistence. When he started calling and shouting, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me, those who were following Jesus, our fellow Christians, they tried to silence him. They tried to make him to shut up. But the Bible says that the more they ask him to shut up, the more they rebuke him, the, you know, the louder he shouted. Never allow your crisis to silence you. Never allow your trials to take away that voice inside you. In the reflection of Pope Francis, he says, there's a voice in us longing to communicate with God. Never allow even your sinfulness to silence that voice. There's a voice in you longing to express itself, to communicate itself to Jesus. And through that communication, that is when healing comes to us. The fifth thing and the final thing I appreciate so much about this blind man is his response. The first response, when Jesus asked the people to bring him, of course, our mission as Christians is to bring one another to Jesus, right? 
So when the people brought him to Jesus, Jesus asked him, what can I do for you? What do you want? And the response of this blind man is, I want to see. As simple as that. He did not ask Jesus as a beggar. He did not ask for money. He did not ask for any material thing. Rather, he said to Jesus, I want to see. I want to see. That was his response. The response after his healing is that the Bible said he followed Jesus. He became a follower. He became a disciple of Jesus. In the blessings that you have received, what is your response to God? Do you abandon God after he blesses you? Or do you follow God after he blesses you? Many of us, we go to morning masses, receive sacraments and all that because we are asking God for something. Pero after we receive our blessings, we say goodbye to God. As we reflect on this gospel, let us remember that there is a spiritual blindness. That is when we don't recognize the presence of God in our lives. When we don't recognize God as the origin and the giver of every good thing. That's a spiritual blindness. Personal blindness is when we don't recognize the good things, our giftedness, and that will make us to be envious of other people. That's personal blindness. When you cannot appreciate yourself. The third one is social blindness. When we cannot appreciate the good things in other people. Let us ask the Lord to heal us from these kinds of blindness. Please share this video and thank you for listening.